scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever. Listen, listen carefully. Pay attention. Jesus walked as though he was not the son of God for 30 years. And then, I hope you know that John was not a Baptist. John was a prophet. Baptism was a strategy invented to help him identify the Christ. And then number two, to now help him introduce a sacrament of immersion and then to be resurrected into Christ. Are we together now? So every time when John was in the wilderness as a prophet, he was given a sign that every time he baptized, he will look up, he will say, go, you are not the one. He will baptize, he will look up, go, you are not the one. He will baptize, he will look up. Now watch this. Please sit down, sit down. I'm teaching you something about the prophetic now John came to a point where he saw a 30 year old Jewish young man and he says no you are the ancient of days you are only in a 30 year old body he said I am not what behold the lamb that takes away the sins of the world watch this John said I I you are God I'm a prophet I know what I'm seeing I'm not worthy to open your heavens Jesus made a statement that is a warning to everyone. He said, suffer it to be so. It's an ordinance. If I don't submit to that ordinance, my heavens will close. I am Jesus, but suffer it to be so. No matter how anointed you are, no man ordains himself. No man honors himself. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor has to be conferred by another. Please sit down. Sit down. Fire is burning in this place now. Pay attention, please. I'm about to introduce something that if you understand, for many of you, this is the answer to the age-long prayer. Lord, why is it that I cannot shift? There is a law you have been breaking sincerely so. Look up, please. The heaven you are going to, that you so look forward to, Go and read how heaven was constructed. Heaven was constructed with the names of 12 apostles of the Lamb as the foundation. The Bible says this is how the church was built. Look at the architecture of the church. Paul was given the privilege of seeing the architecture of the church. Pay attention. He said in the building of the church, the first person you meet is Christ. He's called the chief cornerstone. The moment you meet Christ, there are two strange ministries you must meet to rise. The apostolic and the prophetic he calls them the foundation listen carefully i don't mean the apostolic and the prophetic by name jesus wanted to do ministry the father was watching the holy ghost was in heaven wanting to come but where is the man that must give authorization because you see that was the one who the mandate and the grace was upon and even God would respect it let me tell you this it is not only God you need to rise it is only God you need to worship and your allegiance should go to but when it has to do with the dynamics of manifesting destiny you need God and you need the man he is using look up please when the oil finished in the parable, it says, go to them that sell. 
not everybody is looking for oil there are those who have it already and i showed you yesterday how they got it remember all those who have oil to sell you want to know how they got it go to second kings chapter 4 once upon a time their oil was in a small cruise they didn't know what to do it was a prophetic they encountered that multiplied their oil that they now have enough to sell to others Are we together thank you so jesus okay help us with the sound jesus comes to john and john says jesus says suffer it to be so watch this he dips john in water he brings john out and your bible the one you have on your hand now says and the heavens open over jesus did he need the heavens open to do ministry? Yes, sir. Watch this. When the heavens open, two things happen. One, the Bible says the Holy Ghost descended in the similitude of a dove. It came and rested on him. And number two, a voice. Watch this. Watch this. A voice spoke and said, this is my beloved son now. Question, who was he before? God had to make that verdict. Your obedience has validated your sonship. Your compliance to my ordinances has validated your sonship. Now watch this. It says, this is my beloved son. Please catch this revelation. In whom I am well pleased. And he mentioned three words that if not spoken upon you, you can never expand. Hear ye him. Question. Who has spoken to the territory to hear you? Jesus did not just manifest. He would have been surprised. God himself made a declaration. Hear ye him. He went to the desert. A crowd came. He went to the riverside. A crowd came. He climbed a mountain. A crowd came. Resources came from fish. Came from air. Because a command was given. Hear ye him. That means whatever it will take for his ministry to find visibility let it come listen to me i don't doubt your call but do you have the hear ye him is has that grace been placed on your life there are many gifted people in this city genuinely anointed on fire but you organize a meeting there is nobody to come and hear what god is saying and you know that God is saying something to you there is a hear ye him grace but it comes by submission to God's protocol of operation not even Jesus missed that are we together now Abraham was at a point in his life where it seemed like nothing will happen except prophecy and he returned from war and he met a strange king of an ancient city called Salem called Melchizedek watch this Abraham honored him and here was what Melchizedek said blessed be Abraham son of the most high I make you possessor of the heavens and the earth watch this do you know brothers and sisters we're about to pray do you know that prophet Samuel was a man is that true when God rejected Saul as king, David was already having visions as the next king. God was ready, but the prophet he will use was still negotiating for Samuel. And a man's destiny was suffering because the prophet that will announce him was not cooperating with God. Can you imagine that? God is ready to lift you. But the prophet he will use was still negotiating and you think god will say no 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 i have options look at how god had to come himself to negotiate with samuel he says samuel um why do you continue to weep seeing that i have rejected saul as king take your horn and go to the house of jesse you are you are delaying someone who is ready because you are the prophet who should ordain him see hold on do you know what made saul to lose his throne he was not knowing the rankings in the spirit of men he thought 
that because you are a king it also means that you are a priest and a prophet and so they kept putting pressure on him offered the sacrifices samuel is wasting our time and out of pressure he offered the sacrifices samuel came and said you have done foolishly you would have allowed me to come this is an office he said our god would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this the kingdom is taken away from you it would have been thou son of saul have mercy on me but now he lost it can i tell you this this is not human worship but please hear me yola all men are not equal we are equal in christ the same lord is rich unto all are we together but in terms of our personal sacrifices alongside the election of grace it has separated us into spiritual cadres. this should not bring pride but let me tell you this you can remain for a long time and god will be watching you as merciful as he is until the day you find the grace sent to lift you not the grace available there were many widows in Zarephath, but to none was Elijah sent. Elijah passed other widows and greeted them. But the day he went to the one he was sent to, that was the end of our situation. Are you learning something here? When it was time for the nation of Israel in Exodus chapter 14, we don't have the time. These guys continue to cry before God. How many of you know that according to the prophecy that was given to Abraham, they would spend 400 years? question who added the 30 extra years one man Moses the slow pace of his training added the captivity of the people he was to deliver because until he was ready he now went to Ramesses his half brother who had now become the Pharaoh of Egypt thus saith the God of the Hebrews let my people go and Pharaoh said what nonsense are you speaking about after 10 plagues he allowed them to go by a prophet when he brought them out watch this they got to a point where they were standing before the red sea and the egyptians were running after them they were angry and they said moses we told you we would have just remained slaves but moses said no exodus 14 verse 13 please give it to us we're reading from 13 to 15 that's what is happening to someone this night in the name of jesus christ exodus 14 from verse 13 exodus 14 from verse 13 14 14 media exodus 14 from verse 13 and moses said unto the people yola fear ye not it says stand still and see the salvation of the lord which he shall show you when talk to me when not tomorrow Today. today it was a prophet who was speaking what God was about to do and he said for the Egyptians for the cancer for the situations that you see today that you will see them no more forever next verse next verse it says the Lord will fight for you so when a prophet is coming it is the Lord fighting for you moses was there with them and he was saying the lord was fighting for them how did the lord fight for them by giving them the advantage of the prophetic are we learning something next verse 15. moses the lord now said to moses i have promised them that i will fight for them but if we keep quiet nothing will happen to them why criest thou unto me you are a prophet i have spoken echo what i have said speak unto the children of yola and tell them that they go speak unto them that they go last scripture acts i mean second kings chapter 6 verse 1 second kings chapter one please give it to us very quickly we're about to pray 
I hope the Lord is working your faith and building capacity to know that something is coming on you. One of these, these women, three that are sitting, has, I just saw fire coming on one of you. Right now, I stretch my hands, these two. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing fire come on you. And the Lord is saying, in this season, I'm about to announce you. Take that grace. I come as one sent. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. I want you to pay attention to what the Lord is going to be doing in your life. One thing I know for sure is that you will never be the same. Amen. Hallelujah. Two, three people will start running out by the anointing. Just hold them and bring them out. Hold them. The power of God is coming on them. They will start running physically. Is it? I'm not saying start running by your. It's the power of God that will bring you. Just hold them, whether you are an usher or not, whether they are inside or outside. Bring them, please. Please bring them. Second Kings chapter six. My God, fire is about to burn in this place. No, don't bring them out. Not these ones. Not these ones. The instructions is those running by the Spirit. Just bring them out. The era of delay is coming to an end. Please help them. Just hold them. I want to speak to them. Then they can go back. Now look up please everyone. And the sons of the prophet this was an issue of space. They were tired of limitation. And they said, Behold now, the place where we dwell with you is too small. Now, ministries, businesses, the space where you are. Seven. And we 
thy servant answer them wise people they say prophet we are going to the next level and then verse 4 watch this so he went with them and as they came to Jordan they cut down wood verse 5 but as one was felling a beam the axe head fell into water and he said alas master it was a sincere journey for expansion i didn't intend to be in this trouble the trouble i have with the bank today was simply because i intended to enlarge the challenges i'm having today is because i intended to enlarge but thank god for the prophetic he carried the prophetic along to his place of breakthrough and then verse 6 alas master it was borrowed and the man of god said have no fear while you were on your journey you carried the prophetic along now that you are in trouble do not fear the prophetic is a bailout system to bring you out of that tragedy and the prophet said where fell it and he showed him the place where is the place where you are sick show the prophet the place where is the business ailing you he said right here where is the area of concern the prophetic is asking you by the spirit tonight where is the area that doors have not been opened he pointed the place is my finances that's why i asked you to put your prayer request together where fell it please help that lady just so that you don't the prophetic said where fell it tonight god is asking you again through the prophetic man of god where fell that battle axe the axe that you were supposed to use for the next level where fell it and he said right here and he took a stick an insignificant formula and threw it there and the axe head began to float and he said pick it up tonight please hear me this will be our final encounter together the lord has brought the city together many of you from region to region state to state please i like for your heart to be open in this place right now the lord is going to be healing the sick in this place the lord is going to be delivering people there are destinies that have been held under captivity for a long time it's time to be released and hear me there are graces there are mantles there are unctions that have been searching for some of you for many years god has sent me tonight by his spirit some of you have tasted of the power and the grace of god in a measure it's time to rise higher he have encompassed this mountain long enough it's time to move higher are you ready to pray fire from heaven fall upon my destiny let things begin to change and shift in my life go ahead and pray Everyone stand if you can. Please pay attention. I want you to listen to me. Listen to me. This man standing before you, what you see and hear tonight is the privilege of an election of grace. Please, no distraction. Listen. Listen. 
Hear me. One day, I became tired of religion. I became tired of church. I became tired of seeing the sick go back sick. The oppressed go back oppressed. When that happened, I began to seek the Lord in prayer, loving him and saying, Lord, if you desire to use me as a man of God, do not send me with only a sermon. Send me with a grace and send me with an anointing that can bring the nations salvation, hope and healing and deliverance. Listen, my hunger, I was not looking for ministry. When I started my journey with God, I was not looking for fame, not ministry, not even anointing. I wanted him. That was all I wanted. If you must find true power in this kingdom, the formula must be restored. In the beginning, God. Not in the beginning, ministry. Not in the beginning, signs and wonders. He must become the object of your pursuit. And one night, the Lord Jesus Christ came into my room. Pay attention. And when he came to my room, I was standing there before his majesty. I have seen him. I don't just believe him. I know that he's alive. Hear me? When Jesus stood before me, majestic in beauty and splendor, I was like a piece of rag on the ground. I know what Isaiah said when he said, Woe, I am undone, a man of unclean lips. When I saw Jesus, I knew that many preachers did not know him. It took me more than one year to recover from that encounter. Now listen please. Right from that place, he stretched his right hand towards me. And light at his brilliance came and entered me. And when that light entered me, in another encounter, the Lord told me, he said, son, from today I give you my presence as a gift. Then I see this angel standing before me and he said, this will work with you. I said, what is his name? He said, he's called the angel of the Lord's presence. This is why you see some of these manifestations that you see. And hear me. The Lord gave me several mandates that I've been ob obedient to. But one of them that must happen tonight, listen carefully. He said, every city and every nation that I send you to, there must be someone in that place that the light that came from me to you, that same light must be transferred to them. Listen to me. This does not happen to everyone but i can tell you i have been obedient to this call from nation to nation city to city i know there has to be someone in this place this night who has hungered and said lord i know you are calling me for such a time as this i'm tired of just having sermons there has to be a grace the global harvest is a reality but it cannot happen just with cheap talk our possibilities are defined by the kind and the level of grace that is upon us hear me Yola you are immersed in such a dense atmosphere of his presence and his power and anything that does not name the name of Christ is about to leave. Yeah. Hallelujah. Help that man. About to leave. You will never, never, never be the same. Please listen to me. I bring you a superior dimension. I bring you a wine that was brewed by the Spirit himself. This is not a preacher coming to preach. No. You think like that you will not receive anything it's an election of grace 
there is a throne that backs the things that you see so very quickly we are going to begin to pray please just help those under the anointing whether you are an usher or not now is the time where you will be your brother's keeper I want to pray what will happen to you tonight this man that man lifting his hands sir shout Jesus as loud as you can In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands towards you. That name you have called, I'm seeing fire just come on you. And the Lord is saying he's shifting you to a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ, may that fire shift you to a new season. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yola, are you ready tonight? Lift your voice in one minute. Everything you desire to happen in your life, begin to speak it. Declare. Let's have all the prayer requests, please. it's time for those powers to be lifted please whether you are inside or outside so that there's no commotion and all of you who are by the edge up here please be careful i want to pray for you that everything that does not name the name of christ in the name of jesus is time for it to go at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus that is the name that has been lifted above every other name hear me yola at the shout of that name if god be god everything sitting on anyone's destiny that is not of the christ it must give way right now are you ready one two three shout jesus
God. Just help those under the anointing. We don't have space for them here. Every altar, the Bible declares blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us that he nailed it to his cross. I decree and declare every planting that is not of God, we uproot it now. We uproot it now. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. My goodness, our time. Who is Godia? Godia, I'm hearing a name, Godia. Who is that? I'm hearing a name, Godia. Please, we do not have all the time. If you are here and the Lord mentions your case or your name, please, very quickly, let me just know. turning your life around help that woman part of God is coming on you you will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you in the name of Jesus. my dear look at me I stretch my hands the power of God is coming upon you and I decree and declare shame and reproach let it live your life right now Amen. in the name of Jesus over forever help her in Jesus name I pray Amen. um who is Paul 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 who is that Paul you are wearing like a milk kaftan Paul is that someone like that who is that what is your name Where's the mic? Huh? My name is Paul, sir. From where? I stay. Come. Paul, God is about to change your life, my friend. What do you do? I try so many businesses. Huh? Okay, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captive shall be delivered. I will pray for you. There is a grace for entrepreneurship on you. And it may not look like it now, but the Lord is turning you. He will transform you in a very remarkable way. In the name of Jesus Christ please bring for me there is a gentleman not a lady a gentleman he will shout loud under the anointing to the hearing of everyone please bring him for me very quickly I need to pray for him before we pray for the sick my friend look at me in the name of Jesus I bring you life and I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit let seasons change over your life receive that grace right now in the name of Jesus a change of season you will never be the same never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. 
help me please there is a gentleman the power of God is coming on ah. please bring him your name is Paul too what's your name Danjuma I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ I'm about to pray for the sick now let there be a miracle for you supernatural miracle in the name of Jesus I am the Lord is showing me a woman all the ladies in that family this is what I'm saying in my vision none of them have been able to have a child who is that I want to pray for you please don't just come out at random this is a vision God is showing me please who is that person I want to pray for you now it's time for God to turn your morning into dancing what do you do huh you are a pastor where huh you didn't think i want to pray for you 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 look at me look at me your life will never be the same you will begin to walk strongly in the healing anointing Amen. take that grace now i stretch my hands may that grace come upon you take that grace in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ i pray for this gentleman by the power of the holy spirit may the lord himself show you mercy and lift you even to higher grounds by the power of the holy spirit the lord the family if you are not here no problem we we'll just i want to pray for the sick all i'm seeing the ladies no fruitfulness at all is that is there someone like that don't tell lies come where are you from where is she from? who knows huh Madagari. huh Madagari. Madag is there somewhere like that okay how many are you how many are you your family are you married, of us are married. no children Look at me. You're going to have a baby boy. The prophetic does not only reveal, it creates. It makes what has no business happening to happen by the authority of Jesus. I want to pray for you and your sisters. Huh? Maimuna. Maimuna. I don't know why I'm getting this name, Memuna. We have to redeem the time and pray for the sick. Memuna. I'm hearing a name, Memuna. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have shown me concerning this lady. I prophesy upon you and I prophesy, Memuna. You are wearing maroon. You are coming from outside. Outside. This Memuna is not in the auditorium. Outside. This side, in fact. Outside. There. Who is that? Where are you coming from? I'm from Yoda. Uh, 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 where in? Are you? Yes. I you, is, she, is she coming from? The person I saw was coming from outside. Yes. I where? Where were you? Yes. Outside. outside. My dear, what do you do? What do you do? I'm a politician. Do you know why I called you? Because it may look like what you are doing is not making sense. But the way God is going to lift you, it will surprise many people. I'm not a politician, no. I'm a man of God. But you see, there is a kingmaker anointing. Kingmakers don't become kings themselves, but they can enthrone and remove kings. Politicians do politics with integrity. Do politics. If you're a politician here, I beckon on you by the mercies of God. The era of just siphoning resources, let's stop this thing and serve God's people with sincerity. It doesn't matter what political position, no matter how much you steal, is this same stomach, this is the limit of what you can take. We must restore integrity in governance. Hallelujah. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the God of heaven show you mercy. I place grace upon your life. And I provoke the meaning. Receive the grace. Now, I set you on fire. Let doors be open for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please listen. 
I want to pray for the sick now. Our time is gone. My dear, okay, I call her out. In Jesus' name, just place your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle. Ah, now, let it be over by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, every devil gives way now. The authority that is in the name of Jesus the key of David that can open a door that no man shuts and can shut a door this lady I'm seeing the grace that was on Esther on you you this lady come you this one with come out where are you coming from Huh? I want to pray for you. Listen, God will put you in palaces and before kings. It will surprise you what God will do. I'm saying it in the open. There is a grace that enthrones. Have you not been seeing it in your dreams? You saw it in your dreams. You were even telling somebody. Who were you telling? Your husband. Come. Don't be embarrassed, eh? Yes. The wonder working power of Jesus. What do you do, sir? Pastor. You're a pastor. I want to pray for you. The grace that was on Esther is on your wife. God will grant her access to systems and structures. I stretch my hands and in the name of Jesus Christ, drink of that wine. In the name of Jesus, I set you on fire. May that grace begin to speak. That anointing is coming on you now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And for you, may God help you in ministry, Amen. my friend. Amen. The Lord is showing you mercy. Amen. Look at me. God is sending financial helpers. Amen. Sending financial helpers. It will be like a dream. God will just turn everything around for you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can I pray for the sick now? Amen. Now, please listen. Please listen to the instruction inside and outside. I'm about to pray for the sick now. We will let the devil know once again that Jesus is still Lord over your life. Hallelujah. Many of you already, please, these ones, if they are alright, they can clear the way so that some others. Now, when I pray for the sick, we're going to do this very quickly. We're out of time. As soon as I pray and rebuke that devil, the power of God is going to come upon you. There will be miracles here. Please let me have maybe one or two of the pastors and the aisle because we are going to call a few people who we are going to call a few people who have been healed we'll just take a few testimonies after that i will pray on this and then we'll do the impartation please be patient tonight and let the lord visit this city hallelujah now lay your hands where you are trusting god for a miracle everyone inside and outside and you who is following from your home or from whatever nation of the earth i'd like you to lay your hands where you are trusting god for a miracle Jesus something special supernatural about to be Jesus something happens when I mention miracles are real and I'm about to pray for you now take your eyes away whether you're on a wheelchair whether you're on crutches whether you're on a stretcher whether you have a medical report that is a death sentence I'm about to pray just look on to Jesus right now and I want you to agree with me as I pray are you ready in the name of Jesus Christ amen. shout a louder amen in the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. A lady is going to shout loud to the hearing of everyone under the anointing. The moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. Now, in the name of Jesus, I command every devil of infirmity, leave right now. Every devil. 
level of insanity inside and outside I come by the apostolic and the prophetic and in the name that is above all names every devil of infirmity lives now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for everyone who is sick be healed now my God mighty miracles are happening be healed now everyone on a wheelchair everyone using crutches lift it up and begin to walk now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 every blind eye partial blindness total blindness be open now every deaf ear be open now I'm seeing someone with the issue of blood whether it's your circle or not you have the issue of blood with severe pain and pray right now go and check yourself the power of God is touching you right now there's someone with severe pain around the limbs in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God is touching you right now every growth long around the breast area fibroids every devil I declare that it leaves you right now there's someone with a severe case of migraine very severe case of migraine be healed right now in the name of Jesus your left eye does not see well but after this prayer I want you to check it right now sugar diabetes is being healed now the Lord is healing I'm seeing hepatitis B be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ high blood pressure be healed now pile pile the Lord is healing pile in fact for one of you is a severe case of pile be healed now there's someone you have I don't know if it's a boil or a growth around your armpit here after the prayer I want you to check it right now you will not find it again hotness severe heat around the body in the name of Jesus be healed right now now for someone it started like it was malaria but till now you feel severe pains around your joints whether you are sick or not the power of God is touching you right now There's someone here with HIV you had a dream and you saw like a dog pursuing you and it's like it beat you and you woke up and started having symptoms of HIV I cause that devil of HIV right now every trace of cancer here be healed right now in Jesus name hmm. marvelous miracles are happening here someone you could not shift your neck right now i would like you to check it the power of god has touched you you will find out that there's no pain in fact i'm seeing someone outside i don't know what happened to your sense of smell you couldn't i don't know if you lost it or whatever it is that happened but right now the power of god is touching you and you will find out that your sense of smell is restored in the name of jesus christ you had an accident I don't know if it was a fracture or something around your left limb. The power of God is touching you right now. Amen. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm seeing someone is like you've had Qatar, but it does not seem to go. This has lasted for a long time and it remains like that. You can't even inhale properly. Most times when you sleep, you're breathing through your mouth. Right now, the power of God is touching you. Now, hear me. Whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God, 
some of you already right from yesterday the lord had healed you some of you who came under the anointing here right now be healed in jesus name there there is an elderly woman here you have a problem breathing you are unable to breathe properly in the name of jesus i rebuke asthma Amen. someone the kind of pain you feel when you have weak load you are ex you've been experiencing that pain around your fingers but right now as i pray for you the power of god is touching you Amen. now hear me inside outside all of the overflows outside right to the gate and beyond and then those following online i seal your miracle right now i'm about to give you an opportunity to check yourself and we're going to celebrate miracles here Amen. now only those who have Amen. been healed by the power of god please check them the power of god has touched you i want you to check yourself do what you couldn't do some of you whilst you were under the anointing as you came up everything there's been healing inside or outside i want you to run there'll be a pastor here or here to just have them file up and then we'll take a few testimonies very quickly before the prayer session and then the inter impartation check yourself right now are you celebrating miracles people are coming my god check yourself check yourself check yourself check yourself do what you couldn't do before People are coming. Adamawa, you celebrating miracles. Those coming from outside, please allow them. Confirm them and then we'll take a few testimonies. Some of you may need to go out and use the restroom. Some of you are outside. Do what you couldn't do before. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. Unto you we ascribe all the praise. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. Keep coming. Unto you we ascribe all the praise. Very simple for success. Lion of Judah reigns. Lion of Judah reigns. take a few testimonies listen as many just check yourself and keep coming but let's take a few that we have here who is, who is helping who is maybe we may need a mic this the one he couldn't motivate to be God for last over two years ago and now he can check your what's your name the help him please hold on victor help them please get another mic get another mic for us get another mic look at this look at this come are you seeing this This is how long has this been? Almost one month. Plus. One month. You see it eating up and it has refused to heal. My brother, look at me. You believe in the anointing? Yes. You believe in miracles. Yes, in the name of Jesus, I bring you life now. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed. Amen. Let that wound dry up right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Amen. please. Who is the next? You don't have to, from where you are, can just testify before we bring them out. My friend, your your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. Let's take them one by one so that here is not routed. Last year, January. Last year, January. I leave him, leave him, hold on, leave hold on, hold on. Hold leave on. him, leave him. What's wrong? Stroke. Stroke. He could not walk. Yes. Walk. Come. Go. Go. Come. Go. 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 Come. Gradually, gradually. Don't force him. In the name of Jesus, look at this. Could he do this before? Who came with him? Nobody knows. You are his wife. Could he do this before? My God, come on, come on, Yola. Look at this. For three years, my friend, look at me. 
in the name of Jesus Christ look at me I cause that devil now go now in the name of Jesus now look at what is happening look at his hand look at this look at this lift your hand lift your hand every devil I cost you lift your legs go ahead gradually 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 be rowdy let's not be rowdy god bless you take it easy please coordinate them don't just bring them out we'll do it this way we'll just alternate maybe once or two who brought these guys out why are they here very quickly help us please praise hold on hold on yes praise the Lord. please hold on hold on let's be orderly I'll be having this pain can you help us with the mic what's your my, name my praise praise, praise them and yes them. what happened i'll be having this severe pain for years it comes and goes pain many times i've been how long for almost seven years almost seven years yes. if i go and scan they will say just go and drink more water i'm tired of scanning even last two weeks i went to hospital uh, right now what happened to you check yourself press check button. press it any pain any pain ah. is this how you celebrate miracles in your life my dear look at me in the name of jesus once i pray for you you can go back to your seat Look at me, my dear. I'm here to pray for you. I stretch my hands. That pain never returns again. Amen. I cause out now. In the name of Jesus. Never returns again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Okay, I pray for you already. Yes, Grace for you. Young man, look at me. God is going to use you. Huh? Stand up. I decree and declare, may the help of God come upon you and through you to your family. Amen. I release that grace upon you right now. Amen. Take that anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same. Yes, please. I can't breathe for two years, but now I can breathe. You Some... couldn't breathe for two years. Yes, sir. Breathe but... in and out. Oh, Jesus! In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Pile. Pile. So how I've long? Been here for more than 20 years, sir. More than 20 years. Yes, sir. I never ever seen that guy. And right now, oh come on, oh come on, oh come on, oh come on. Now I'll go to Sunanka, where the people are. with this mic can it be louder than this i don't know who it is or give us hold on please yes please go ahead my name is medas clement i've been having problem with my legs I with your legs this one. Yes. what yes. couldn't you do i couldn't even raise it like you this. couldn't raise it years. for more than how many years 15 years, 15 years. jump jump do what you couldn't do take it easy go ahead oh you couldn't raise it hold on where were you standing not even step okay walk now any pain any pain lift it now any pain any pain any pain in the name of jesus christ by the anointing of the holy spirit it never returns to you again in jesus name i pray that grace is on you bringing you perfection in Jesus' name, yes, please. My name is Desmond, sir. My God, are you seeing since, the miracles happening here? Since 2018, sir, I've been having chest pain and waist pain after having a dream that I'm fighting with a demon. And after waking up, I found reality right is walking over my back. And right now, what happened? Right now, I'm feeling nothing. Bend down, sir. check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? What's your name? Desmond, Come on, give Jesus praise. A miracle for Desmond. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you. It never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, I bring you life and I bring you healing in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Who's the next person? Hold on, please. Hold on. Don't worry. We'll see. We'll have to redeem the time. Yes, please. My name is Atani Peter. 
Can you be loud? My name Anyone is, on behind my, the mic? My name yeah. is Ateli Peter. Okay. I've been having this pain in my joint for, for more than six months now. More than six months. Yes. Check yourself now. Check yourself. Any pain? No. Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns. By the power of the Holy Ghost, never returns. Sir, let me hear this woman, please. My name is Florida Edmond. Okay. When you said a woman with difficulty, in, an elderly woman with difficulty in breathing. Yes. I quickly answered, and from there, before I cannot even trade from there to where you are. You couldn't trade from there to this place? Yes. And right now? Yes, but, but now I came in myself. You came in yourself? Hold on, she's trying to say something. I have been on oxygen for a very long time. You have been on oxygen? Yes. Hold on. Huh? You are a doctor. You know her. Oh, you are a doctor. Come, 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 come. My goodness. You are her doctor. Oh my God, look at this. Doctor, she's been on oxygen truly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She has been in and out, in and out of hospital several years. Madam, breathe in and out. Let the devil see you do this. Any pain. Any pain. Any pain. Any pain. I stretch my hands. Perfection to you right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You now celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Let's see if we can take a few more. Go ahead. Next, please, very quickly. My name very is, quickly. My name is Mary. I'm the one having issue with nose. I couldn't pass it anything. Since you couldn't pass it anything? Yes. For how long? Since I was born. Since you were born? Yes, I couldn't, I couldn't pass it anything. Is any of your family member here? No. I now you can smell something. Yes. What I did you smell? I, that perfume. Your I, perfume? Yes. And I, I thought it's big. It's, it's, Hold it's on. I, I wish they can be a bit loud so that we we'll take um i know there are many miracles we may not be able to take everything we might just choose maybe three or four more so that we can head quickly for the next okay you couldn't smell anything yes and when you mention hepatitis b i'm having issue with it last two years i tested it you so tested yes. don't worry now you can smell hold on yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare this sense of smell what is happening to mama i'm seeing her walk she couldn't walk Oh, severe headache. Okay. Huh? She's suffering from stroke. Too. She's suffering from stroke. Mama. Okay, look at me, my dear. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of my hand. Never returns again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Ah. My, name, my name is Dora. Yes, name is Dora. Before we end this service, we must do a one minute praise. So you gentlemen, get ready. One minute. Hold on, hold on, not now. When we are done, we pray on this. After the impartation, one minute, we must let the devil know that joy has returned in this environment. Yes, please, very quickly. Praise the Lord. My name is Dora Alba. I suffered from migraine since I was in primary school. Oh so it God. came, started last. Let her go now. <laughs> Out now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, never returns to you again. Yes, please. I'm Damaris Okoje. Yes, ma'am. I have stroke and diabetes, hypertension, and then lumbar problem. For God's sake, you, you see how demonic and evil and wicked Satan can be? Stroke, diabetes. Hypertension. Hypertension. And then lumbar problem. And then lumbar problem. What happened to you tonight? The headache that I was feeling, it is every time, but now. Mama, look at me. Look at me. Lift your legs. Yeah. Go ahead. Just lift your legs. Take it easy. 
symptoms of stroke look at me in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord perfect what he started right now I stretch my hands and I bring you life by the power of the Holy Spirit mama look at me hold on lift this hand and put it down bring it down lift it 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 in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that this that the Lord has begun let him perfect it right now headache stroke and what what other what did she mention again diabetes and lumbar problem and hypertension in the name of Jesus be healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name amen yes next person very quickly um, we may just have two or three and then we're done please we'll, I'll, all the rest I'll pray for you what will happen is that you can you can come and share maybe on a Sunday service you can register your testimonies and you can still share them even though I know that there may be people coming from all over the body of Christ but you can also take these testimonies to your various assemblies yes please my name is Bobby Simon I came with a lump in my armpit, but now it's gone. You came with a lump. Check it now. It's gone. Completely. Yes, sir. The same way this disappeared, everything that must leave your life, I command that it leaves now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you healing and perfection. Never returns in Jesus' name. Yes, please. My name is Moses William. I've been having migraine for three weeks now. And before I came here, it's as if my head, my head want to remove. And immediately you caught my grain. I fell under the power of the Holy Ghost outside. You were outside. Yes, sir. And now, now I'm free. Gone forever. Amen. Free today, free forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, please. Uh, let's just let us be the last person there. I'm so sorry. After Praise this, we'll now hold on. Don't drive them back. No, let them stand. I have to pray for them. All of look at the long queue right till outside. Look at what Jesus is doing here. Yes, please. Yeah, praise God. My name is NSCDK. You mentioned my case. I was sitting outside there. So that those you see have, the uh, outside people again? Uh, problem with the left leg. And I happen to have one. You have? Oh, I'm seeing. The yes, bandage. Yes. And I've been... What happened to you? Sincerely, I don't know. I went home. I came back. I started having the pains. Since then, it has really cost me so much. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Imo State, but I worked here. Okay. Mm. And you could not walk? No, I'm walking, but I spent too much on it. It refused to go? I know it will go. Uh -uh. Yeah. Answer me. Before now. Yes. What is it a boil? Is it what does is it a wound? I can't even say that. Just pain like that. What I know I step on something. You step on something? Yes. Every demonic thing. Planted and programmed around your life. I call upon the God of heaven. He takes it out of your life now. My friend, look at me. I pray for you. This demonic thing, I curse it by the God of heaven. Amen. Now, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. it dries up and that pain, that swelling, that discomfort leaves your life now and it leaves your life forever. Amen. Now, for all the so many miracles inside and outside and those of you who could not have the time to testify, Lord, we give you glory for it. We decree and declare that you will be glorified and for all of you who have received these miracles, they remain permanent in your life. Yeah. And for those who you stood in for, because some of you have sick people, some in hospitals, some in various places, I agree with you right now, that in Jesus' name, you will return back and you will meet testimonies waiting for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Now, please, all of you, you're going to stretch your hands now there is a covenant of answered prayer the bible says unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come this ladies and gentlemen is the most accurate representation of your desires even when we prophesy we do so in part because we are limited even when we pray for the sick the time will not even allow us to do justice to everyone as should be but this is both a token of your faith, a representation of your expectation. Listen to me. There is a God that answers prayer. I have seen God answer prayers in remarkable ways. Um, I had the honor and the privilege some months ago 
to be alone in Baba Deboe's prayer room. And while I was there, I laid down. The only thing I said was, God, the covenant of answered prayer that you have given this man through the years, I respect and I honor that anointing. Let it also come upon me so that everyone I pray for and everyone I declare upon, in addition to that which you have given upon my life, let this grace speak. And God heard me. You've heard me say I'm a product of many anointings. It is true. We are not the inventors of this grace. It's a relay. We also received it. <laughs> Hallelujah. I have read through history. Many years ago, a man of God was going to pray for me who had had the opportunity of meeting with a few of the generals before they went to be with the Lord. And here's what he told me. He said, Smith Wigglesworth told Lester Sumro, he said, when you get old, make sure you do not die with this anointing. He said, find young men and transfer this grace unto them. We are recipients of this grace. Nobody invents the anointing. It's a relay. In one of my encounters, I had this man come to me in my vision and he was talking with me and I was listening. Profound wisdom. And when he turned, he was about leaving. I was calling him and I said, Sir, you did not tell me your name. And he stopped and turned back to look at me. And he said, Paul. Listen, I didn't always walk in the prophetic in this dimension. I'm a product of many anointings. But I will tell you one of the stories. One night, late in the night, I was watching William Branham. And it was an interview. And I was just soaking in the presence of God. You know, people have criticized the man castigated him said all kinds of things because of a few limitations at the end of his ministry and i i saw the purity and the heart and the sincerity of that man most people will not stand for one year if they carry one tenth of the anointing that was on that man they will not even have the stamina to stand and i said lord but this man he served you with all his heart and suddenly from the screen of my laptop a cold sensation from that screen upon my head and it started going down over a period of 30 minutes and the moment that happened it just ceased by the next meeting I would go to the heavens opened in a strange way we have been given this baton also we are products of many anointings You get what I'm telling you when your father the bishop stands here he speaks so much about the Archbishop Benson Idahosa and the impact is hard nobody invents this grace Idahosa himself was a student of T.L. Osborne and a student of those who went ahead of him listen to me I shared with you my encounter in the Renhard Bonke crusade we are products of many anointings in as much as i have met jesus and i received an impartation directly from him it still did not stop the supplies of the body this is why there is no boasting because all that you see today is an election of grace we're getting into the next prophetic five or ten minutes to wrap up my session here and i'm going to bow my knees like paul said for this cause i paul bow my knees to our father the father of our lord jesus christ and all i want you to do is to stretch your hands in agreement as we crush the gates of darkness that everything your personal spiritual life could not fight 
there is a covenant you are the covenant keeping God you are the covenant keeping God Yahweh Stretch your hands towards this request and begin to declare that these Egyptians you see today, that you will see them no more forever. No, you don't have to kneel. Please, you just stand. Let me do the kneeling for you. Is someone praying? Open doors, enlargement, next levels, lands, territories, spiritual fire. There used to be a song many years ago. Every time we were in an attitude of prayer, we used to sing that song many years ago. It says, Ji Aduata, Ya Yesu, Bariku Kata, Kanaka, Agree with me as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is not your best. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I bow my knees before the God of my covenant. Oh, speak from the heavens. And the earth will be all from the Lord, and I'll be here from the My altar is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My sacrifice is calling you, oh God. Ela masha la crede bekatika parusia. Shkane melanda skada braske de balahas <laughs> kede brende kede belekush. Engre kete paraga da branda gata lakatoshia. Skede belekete karia ata branda skede balakash. Rakata baka da brenda ga de proska de la katu shalapa embania akasha las ka da brenda skali porusia shakate bereka tonka mi ka brenda ga da baliata hear me in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and declare every request tabled here before god even upon this altar we turn it from a request to an answered prayer. We turn it from a request to an answered prayer. Hear me? Anyone who says over his dead body for this request, may the earth open and swallow them. human agent that must be used by God
to bring to pass the answers to this prayer we compel them to respond now hear me every long-standing issue that has refused to bow to the name of the lord right now we declare by the power of the holy spirit it bows now hear me for some of you before you reach home the answers here will reach home before you believe me believe me believe me hear me i stand prophetically upon this request everything that has risen above you i bring it under your feet 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 and if our god is for us then no could ever stop us and if our god is with us after you pack all these requests there is no reading it god has read it you set them on fire somewhere and discard them please don't just put them in a bin just set it on fire to respect everyone's privacy but in the name of jesus i stand in faith with our bishop alongside the veterans of the gospel here represented as a united church over yola over adamawa over the east the northeast we decree and declare that every request here will never return as a request again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now please let me have your attention. I want to do the impartation now. Listen. An impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities. Listen. An impartation is not just laying on of hands. You can hands can be laid on you and nothing transferred to you he said the things that thou hast received from us commit thou to faithful men who will commit to others also every time listen carefully there are three ways to receive impartation number one directly from god through an encounter number two there are results and impartations that come when you align with covenants. You don't have to meet the individuals. The covenants that represent the institution or the platforms that they are under, you can come under that covering and you receive certain levels of possibilities and impartations. But the third is when God gives you an opportunity and a privilege to encounter the careers of this grace in the office to downplay on the graces and the sacrifices that are here there are bishops apostles and prophets and some of you who were not even introduced mighty battle axes scattered across not potentially god is even using you maybe even greater than some of us so standing here to minister does not necessarily mean the greatest or the best it is an election of grace and we must be matured and unashamed to recognize this. But can I tell you this? You will never receive from a colleague. There has to be that spiritual potential difference. And without all contradiction, the Bible says, the less is blessed. These graces are not graces that we invented. We have so received from men and women who have gone ahead many years ago i was preaching in a pfn crusade in kano and i called this woman out i think she came to testify of a miracle she had received she was speaking house and this woman was an intercessor she finishes her bible every 15 days ah, i've not done that one 
I said, who is this? Hausa Bible, cover to cover. That one is a grace. I was almost kneeling down to say, before MOG destroys me, let me humble myself and receive first before I continue. Can I tell you, you know the grace working by the testimonies that recycle around your life. Thou anointest my head with oil, but I see the result in what happens in my cup. You don't anoint my cup. If my cup is empty, don't blame the cup. It is what is on my head. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.